was it was a financial it was, thing. Yeah. Oh. Looking at how much each one of these shows cost to operate. And I think boom, honestly, boom, it was kind of like an aesthetic decision slash like just a content decision as mm -hmm. well slash a sanity of mind decision slash a business decision for me to just kind of realize like take a step back i hate to do this but i kind of got to like look at all of my peers in the space okay. and kind of compare myself to them look at their business models i look at somebody like you know ack obviously is kind of focused on the streaming thing i feel like he's face challenges with trying to put together the academy and whatnot mm -hmm. i look at somebody like vlad i look at the way that he segments his content up he doesn't have any consistent shows on his podcast that he's not a part of aside from the reggie wright one that he's been trying mm -hmm. to spearhead i'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with that i look at say cheese they really probably drop like the least amount of content of right. anybody but i feel like the quality is very high yeah. and still say mm -hmm. cheese has a great brand name regardless and he's able to do other things that make money like utilizing the say cheese branding i think for me no jumper if you look at it through 2017 2018 mm -hmm. 2019 it was like very focused around one thing it was like we're going to get as many interviews as possible we're going to do the best interviews we can as you go into 2020 Views. our natural reaction to the pandemic for is kind of sure. like we need to double down on just like whoever we got here talking on camera right enter into what was realistically a kind of impressive era when we had at the end of the day it really kind of thriving crazy. no it was crazy yeah when you think about it t-rail as much of a bozo as he has shown himself to be over the past year saying. he him ad <clears throat> shout out to ad i guess uh and do know like putting them all together on a show mm -hmm. that was pretty impressive so then we kind of like kept chasing after that building up more shows more hosts etc disconnected and that yeah exactly and like yeah. having all those kind of go at the same time was kind of like unprecedented within the hip-hop space to have like one channel that had this many different shows doing good and i feel like in the wake of them leaving the channel mm -hmm. i spent a year basically trying to sort of rebuild all that and i think ultimately the conclusion that i kind of drawn was that i that don't need, I, I don't need to be holding on to like things that previously worked on the podcast or gotcha. whatever like i just need to be a little bit faster to identify what's working and what isn't and i'm i, I feel like at a certain point in time my mm -hmm. view of content creation was that the only way we we're going to make money is by creating an absolute shitload of content that's not really necessarily the case at this point and in fact i even felt like we were kind of losing money on certain things so what i really wanted to do this week was just do like a full reset simplify no jumper down to like the the, the simplest bones. parts that actually mm. work right and obviously there's been a, 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 a i actually feel like almost everybody that i spoke to everybody i spoke to on the phone took it very well and was very cool about it rick baby lush almighty uh flacco etc yeah i called dw flame i understand that he was saying that i did not call him today on the news that yeah, is not true did I, I did it down on that what i double adam 22 fired everybody at no jumper Every, uh, mostly everybody let me say that let me say that uh, Brick Baby, he stays. You know, what I mean? let me let me repeat that, man. Let me repeat that in case y'all think I'm just flipping out and wigging out. Look, Brick Baby, he stays. You know what I mean? Everybody else must go. Adam said, if you're not doing the podcast, well, look, the podcast and the news all cancel. You know what I mean? Look, if you're on his show, you can stay for a minute. Adam just showing everybody who boss. Yeah, I'm just showing everybody who bought here. Everybody was like, oh, we is the new cast. We ain't going nowhere. Yes, you are. You know, you ain't going home, but you're getting up out of here. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fired everybody, bro. Uh, some people got a phone call. Some didn't. Among the people that didn't was D.W. Flame, and he had a big problem with it, people. He say, uh, you remember, uh, if y'all ain't seen that episode, look. DW was mad about a phone call, did not receive a phone call to go to the party. Uh, Adam said he on bad bitching. <laughs> DW didn't like that. He walked out the show. They waited for two hours for this man to come back. He never came back. Well, right now, DW didn't get a phone call. They even said he was fired. He, over the, he heard it over the internet, like all the people that watch the show. I ain't going to even call them fans. It's just people that tune in. You dig? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was hot. He was hot. He said Adam got bad bitch energy. He mad. He he look. He dishing out all type of shit. The man that got shot that they didn't say nothing. Dejon, Dejon Paul. You know, I don't know, you know what I mean? He got shot over there. Uh, so many people suing over what happened over there. I hear. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Look, he mad. 
he divulged in all type of information. He said Adam wasn't paying him nothing but uh, giving him Zaza in the mirror. You know what I mean? On the low, they gave him his own show. Um, I forget what it's even called. You know what I mean? I forget what his show called. I ain't really even tuned into his show. But yeah, they gave him his own show. But for him, it was on the No Jumping Network though. But for him to, for them, for you to come on his show, you had to pay him either twenty five hundred or five thousand. Since he wasn't making money, he, died, he look. He came up with a plan to make him a little extra ends. You know what I mean? But now nah, he wasn't supposed to do that. Adam is very mad. He say if DW Flame Charge you be on the show, contact him. You might be getting some type of financial uh, compensation from that. He's going. He's taking a whole wide approach. People. He's showing them who's boss. You had to get out of there. He wasn't comfortable. They was talking about gangs. They was talking about it. He just felt outnumbered. You know what I mean? Let's just call it what it is. He felt outnumbered. He want all them people out of there. It was a power trip. So uh, to make you feel kind of good, he said, well, I'm not in and ties with you. You'll still be able to come up here and film sometimes with me. You know, just shoot the idea about me. If it's good, I'll let you come film. You know what I mean? <laughs> They had a whole round table just trying to figure out why did we get fired? Why did we get fired? You seen what Adam said, bro. It, it, it's financial, bro. The the lives ain't, ain't making no money. You know what I mean? Y'all talking about all this other type of bullshit. It ain't, it ain't the news. He don't like the direction of the show. Y'all thought y'all was so better than the old cat that y'all wasn't going nowhere. Now he's kicking y'all ass out. Most of y'all didn't. Look, most of y'all didn't do what y'all was supposed to do in networking build your own name while you was up there. So he hitting y'all with the Willy Wonka effect. You leave out of here, you get nothing, uh, you must go. It ain't no talking about it, you know what I mean? Ain't no talking about it. Ain't no talking about, we ain't gonna talk about nothing. You must go. Get your shit and get out the door, you know what I mean? Whatever you leave here, put it in the box and take it with you. <laughs> Everybody seen it coming, bro. Everybody seen it coming. I'm surprised the people that was there didn't. The shows wasn't making no money. He was paying y'all. It was basically for protection. He needed a transition from the old cast to the, you know what I mean? He just wanted to keep the show going. Now he feel like he got enough momentum with the gay and the sex antics that he do that he don't need you guys, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever happens with DW Flame, who knows? But DW did have a name before the show. I will say that. Before he was on there, I didn't know him. You know what I mean? But after Googling him, I realized, uh, you know, DW Flame had a little name. Sharp. Sharp has nothing. Sharp leaves with nothing. He got Willy Wonka for sure, along with the other cats. You know what I mean? Obviously, Poetic Flacco, he on the internet doing his thing, so... He pretty much ain't going nowhere. You still hear him. They might even get on other shows. But yeah, 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 yeah. Adam 22 is done with him. You know what I mean? It was good while it lasted. But Brick Baby, he stays. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he just need WAC 100. So WAC ain't going nowhere. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam got rid of everybody, bro. I'm trying to see how this shit play out. You know what I mean? Trying to see if it make the show better or worse. But Sometimes we only tuned in for the bullshit, you know what I mean? But Adam know that, and that's why he ended it. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Scars from the playground. Let's go to the next one.